Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, the other day I was out shopping and I was at the dollar store and I came across these little bags of styrofoam balls. And that made me think that it'd be really, really fun to take these styrofoam balls and make a bobble-headed creature. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a styrofoam ball bobblehead right now. So for this craft, I'm gonna need some pipe cleaners. And really what I need is about four pipe cleaners to make it all happen. And I've got uh, a couple extra different ones here just in case I wanna switch things up. And I've got my pack of styrofoam balls. And I'm gonna open this up so that you can see what's inside here. So in this pack of styrofoam balls, we have three that are one inch, three, that are one and a half inch, and two that are almost two inches. So that's what I've got to work with for my creature. I'm gonna be using some googly eyes, but of course you can use whatever you want. And I've got my hot glue gun here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be using a pen to make springs, because I want this to be springing and springy. And all I'm gonna do is take my pipe cleaner and hold the end right there against the pen. And I'm gonna start wrapping as tight as I possibly can. Now, if you want looser springs, you would use a bigger pen. But in this case, I'm gonna make myself some pretty tight springs. Now, out of each one of these pipe cleaners, which are 12 inches long, I'll be able to get two springs. Now these are going to become my neck, my legs, my tail, everything. So what I'm gonna do is make a whole bunch of these ahead of time. So here we go. And what I'm gonna do is just fold up the one end on either side so that I've got a nice straight edge. See there and there, and then in the middle I've got the springy. This is what I'm gonna be using to attach to my styrofoam balls. This is gonna be my body. It's the bigger one. It's about two inches. And I'm just gonna take one end of the pipe cleaner and stick it in. Now, one of the things that's great about pipe cleaners and styrofoam balls is that they are a great, fabulous connector for each other. They love to go together. They're, they're just like fabulous friends. And so, now when I take my next piece and just slide it on there, it's gonna stay. I don't need any glue, I don't need anything. It's gonna just stay. So if you're joining, like if you wanted to make a snowman or something like that, this is the best way to join any styrofoam, little pieces of um, pipe cleaner. Okay, now I'm gonna do four of these for my legs. So. I only have three of these, as you see. So for my one extra leg, I wouldn't have a foot. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm going to cut this in half and make that my back foot. And so what I'm gonna do is take my springy bringing and stick it in there and get the other side ready. And that will be my back leg. And once again, I just stick this right in here. There we go. And there you can see I've got my front leg and my back leg started here. Now, I'm gonna jump ahead here. I've already got my four legs added. So you would add all four of your legs there. And then we're gonna add the neck. So I've got one more of my sproinies here. I just take my sprungy, and stick it in, push it down a little bit. Sometimes people like their necks to be a little closer, and if that's the case, you can always trim it. Remember that the longer the sprung, the more it's gonna wobble. And one thing that I've learned, now I'm gonna use one of the one and a half inch balls here. One of the things that I've learned over time is that 
pipe cleaners have started to get thinner and thinner and thinner. When I first started in my business, pipe cleaners were really thick. And they've started to get thinner and thinner and thinner. And so you may find that you might even want to double up your pipe cleaner to make it thicker and make it stronger. Okay, so far I've got my little creature going here. I'm going to add a tail with a springy, springy. And this one, I'm not going to worry about adding anything on the other opposite end. I'm just going to let him have a tail that sticks out. And now I get, want to give him his face. Now the one thing when I add hot glue to styrofoam, I always like to let it cool for about 10 seconds. So I'm counting in my head and then I put it on the styrofoam. That way I'm not putting hot, hot, hot directly onto my styrofoam because hot glue on styrofoam will melt. And I don't want to melt my face here. No fun melting faces. Okay, so there we go. Now I want to give him a little pair of ears. So I'm just going to cut a two inch piece, cut two of those, fold it in half, and then again, just stick it in. This is what's so fun about styrofoam is that you don't need a whole lot of glue because things will just stick right in the styrofoam. This is great for younger hands because uh, they don't have to worry about Getting, uh, getting all sticky with glue and stuff like that. They can do a lot of sticking, sticking a lot of things into the styrofoam balls. Okay, I'm going to give him a little nose now. Oops. And all I'm going to do is cut a small piece, like one inch here. And I'm going to give him a tongue too. So I'm going to make another one inch piece. And what I do is fold this just in half to make like a letter U. And that's going to get stuck in here to be his tongue. And then for his nose, what I'm going to do is actually fold it over onto itself, like the letter J, closed in. See that? Little, little letter J closed in on itself. And then I'm just going to put this right on in to be his nosy. And there is my critter. And there you have it, your very own styrofoam creature. Now, I do want to show you a couple other examples. So in this case, this one, I didn't have any styrofoam balls, so I used beads for the feet, and I used a little puff ball for the head. So see, the only styrofoam ball I used was the middle body piece. On this one, I used one for the head and for the body, but I didn't have any pipe cleaners. And so what I did use was some golf tees for the legs, and I used popsicle sticks and stir sticks for the ears, neck, and tail. And then this one, I just wanted to show you, he's a little bit larger. I had bigger balls and I had more of these tiny ones. And so I just went to town and made him entirely out of big and little and medium styrofoam balls. For more great ideas that'll shake up your world, come and check us out at soapy-world.com.